while I was away on vacation, I got a bunch of emails from uh, my coaching clients who said they were having problems signing into Evernote. And various uh, news group participants also reported the same issue. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we're going to look into that problem. Plus, uh, talk about ongoing problems with Evernote. And uh, what about the temptation to switch to another productivity app? But quickly, I want to remind you that I have a weekly free newsletter in which I write about Evernote, productivity, and related issues. Absolutely free. Sign up at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. So first, let's take a look at that login issue that some people have faced. Now, I've not faced it since uh, I logged back onto my computer post-vacation, but apparently some users are getting uh, an error message when they try to log in, uh, being, a being unable to log in because of, quote, too many sign-in attempts. So um, as an Evernote expert, I uh, followed up on these issues, and here's Here's what I've been told. First of all, Evernote uh, support and the engineering teams are working on a solution. They're aware of it. And they're also uh, working on steps that users can take on their own to, uh, to deal with this issue. In fact, by the time you see this video, they may have already fixed the problem. But if you ever run into this, uh, you know, one of the challenges is if you can't even log into Evernote, you can't let them know you're having a problem because you can't log into your account. But there is a workaround to that. So if you ever get a message that says you're unable to log into your account and you want to file a trouble report, what you want to do is uh, go to that login screen and continue as a guest uh, on the initial sign-in page. Then select my account, unable to log in. Now, all users, paid and free users, are able to submit a ticket. And that's what you need to do because the folks at Evernote want those tickets so they know how widespread a problem is and it helps them fix it. If I hear anything else about this login issue, I will uh, post an update. So uh, please subscribe to the series of videos and then you won't miss any of my updates. And finally, I'm still getting uh, a fair number of comments from long-term users of Evernote who say they no longer trust Evernote because of some of the transitional problems and are now considering moving to another platform. Well, I've been talking to some of the folks at Bending Spoons, and I know that they realize that the process of buying the Evernote company did not go smooth. Uh, they made mistakes. I'm told they're working hard to fix those transitional problems. And they know they have to do better, not only at that, but also uh, in communicating with us. Now, I want to make it clear, not only do I not work for Evernote, nor am I an apologist for bending spoons, I don't really think it's time to jump ship. I mean, you can if you want, and if you don't mind moving everything to another system, I mean, go ahead. But here's why I'm still somewhat optimistic. I recently had a call with a product manager at Evernote who uh, really wanted to pick my brain about improving a popular feature that needs a little refresh. I don't want to get into the details. But most importantly, he indicated that the current priority of the company is to solve the current problems associated with the transition to bending spoons. But they also have an ambition plan to focus on improving Evernote as we know it today, adding new features that will make it more valuable. But they don't want to push too far with new features until they can fix the old problems. Makes sense. Another Evernote staff member assured me that they know they need to do a better job of communicating with customers. You know, I can't imagine that these people are lying to me. I mean, they, they have no reason to lie to me. I also sent a message to the head of Evernote an executive of Bending Spoons, saying that I'm sure they have a vision of what they want Evernote to be a year from now, and they need to share some of that vision with us. So, I mean, you know, jump ship if you want to, but I think Bending Spoons deserves a little more time to get its act together. Now, if in six months or a year, we're still dealing with these continuing problems, I mean, I'll be jumping ship without a life preserver. But for now, Evernote is the core of my productivity system, and I'm still hopeful for the future. I'm Dave Edwards.